Hey guys, Morgan here from Paul's Fishing Systems. Here we are arriving at Karatahi Beach. Here we go. Out with the predator today. Here's Nathan setting up and Caleb on the camera. Let's see how they get on. Couldn't get any fresh mullet on our way in, so we're using salted mullet. Mm. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Who's there? As with all of our fishing, we are using our target snapper hooks, scientifically proven to catch more legal size, less undersized snapper, as well as being great for other species like gurnard, trevally and kawa. Today we are using the Predator Autonav Kontiki, so this is a 54 pound auto steering Kontiki. These self-steering contickies make getting through this west coast surf a lot easier. So your main weight gets clipped on first before your traces. And then you've got your stoppered section, you put one trace on, let two stops go, so there's always a gap in between your traces so that they do not come together and tangle. Another thing you can do to help prevent tangles is not hooking your baits directly through the middle, hook them through once, through one end. Here's the PFS 230 watt Kontiki kite winch. It's the most powerful Kontiki winch on the market. Up. Check out what the boys got. Look at that, look at that. Old NATO's, NATO's taking the glory. <laughs> Choice! Too good, bro, too good. So, the Seahorse Contiki is another brand Contiki that we sell in store. So, the GPS system on that is still self steering but it runs on a GPS system rather than an autopilot system like the Predator which uses a compass direction. The Contikis that use a compass direction like the Bullet, the Predator and many other ones you have to allow for the current if you want to get them out dead straight. Here we go, we're out here at one of our beautiful west coast beaches and um I've just sent the surf caster out there, hoping, hoping to get a fresh car away, to be honest. Because uh, then we'll stick him on the next set, on the Contiki. Um, so yeah, the, the conditions are pretty pretty crazy today. It's been raining, and then uh, when the rain stops, the sand flies come out. <laughs> so, less than ideal, but um, hey, when you're out on the beach doing what we're doing, it is still a very, very um, good day indeed. So, yeah. Just um, gonna let this first set on the Kontiki soak for about half an hour and then uh, we'll bring it back in and I'll give you a good look into how we um, get everything set up to, to be sent out there. So yeah, nice to be out here, nice to be out here and hopefully we um, can show you some fish coming up on deck soon. There we go. First set coming back in. You can see the angle on this line here as telling us that we were very underweighted. Alright, so here we go. First set done. I had to run down the beach to pull in our Kontiki so I didn't get to capture it, but um, we've got a small snapper. Very nice car, right? Which is going to be um, fresh bait for this next set. Um, the tide's going out and there's um, a bit of a north current uh, that we're faced with today. So what we're going to do on this next set is send it to the left a bit, bit more and um, see if we can get a little bit longer on the soak time out wide. So. Yeah, so far so good. Fresh bait coming right up. One of the only baits that we prefer over fresh mullet is just caught kahawai. Nice firm 
flesh, tough skin, stays on the hook very well, and snapper love it. So explain to us how uh, how you set up these um, kontikis, bro, for fishing. Yes, yeah, so basically the uh, head of the kontiki is a uh, point and go. It works on a uh, electronic compass. Yep. So basically you put it in the direction you want it to go. Uh, set the compass and lock in the bearing and then start the motor. Me. And basically, basically runtime means distance, yeah? Yeah, yeah distance, yeah. So 10 minutes, it should travel about 900 metres, give or take. Right. Uh, 10 minutes, 900. Nice, nice. All right, and we're looking at doing a... Uh, I'm going to try a 10 minute run. Right, 10 minute, eh? Uh, okay. Fresh cowboy on and uh, see how it goes. So. Sweet. Nice. All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Oh yeah, so that's locked your course. Nice. Whew, okay. Okay, this is a 900 set. Let's get it. There we go. And he'll basically just flick that start stop switch again. Start the motor and off she goes. 900 meters out. Starting it up. And away she goes, eh? Just like that. Now what you'll notice here is um, every time it goes through some of the, the, the chop or some of those waves, he'll um, pull a bit of tension on that line. Um, as you can see in this one, we've set it to the left. Um, hoping to negotiate a bit of that north current that's coming through so the current's pushing us to the right so what we figured is if we can get 900 meters out on the left hand side of us then when that current starts to push it over um, we'll get a better soak time out wide um, so that's the theory anyway we'll see how it goes <laughs> So main weight on again, unfortunately we didn't bring any bigger sinkers this day, but with the Kontiki offset to the left and nice fresh kahawai as our bait, we should do a lot better on this set. Fresh kahawai mate, look at that, beautiful. There we go. She's out there now. We are fishing. Putting our clip back on. Choice. Battery's plugged in. Nice and straight, this set. Look at that. That sinker. Yes, sir. Gurney. Good gurney. Okay. Oh, nice penny. Cool. Okay, a little shark. Oh, a little rig shark. Nice. Another oh, even bigger gurnard. Check him out. Let's go. Nice. Is 
see how their legs move on the bottom. Very cool. Let's see another little rig shark. Or is it a... No, that's a little gonzi. I'll take him off. Send him back out. He's gone. Yo! Bringing him back in. Here we go, set number two. A few fish in the bin. I think we've got time for one more set, so see you soon. Go. We're gonna have to um, call it a day, I think. She's sell. She is bucketing down. So um, yeah, that's us. Been a primo day, but um, yeah. Now nah, we're gonna we're gonna pack up now. <laughs> so. Okay. Choice. That's us. We're gonna head home now. Um, yeah, a couple of uh, gurnard, a couple of snapper, a few that we had to put back, rig shark, lemon fish. Awesome afternoon, couple of hours out here. Um, it's probably an hour and a half before low tide, which is um, when I was really wanting to put our last bait out at, but she's, she's bucketing down. So, yeah, we're off home now, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys again in the next adventure. Every week we're uploading a video, so look. If you haven't done already, look, we appreciate all those that have been uh, subscribing, uh, commenting, um, giving us the thumbs up. It means a lot and uh, it definitely brings that motivation on every time we're editing videos because it takes hours. So thank you guys heaps. Hey, stay safe out there. Look after yourselves and we'll see you again next week.